today's video, we are taking a look at Fun Dip. We have over 500 packs of this candy and we want to see what really weird things we can do with it. We have some Fun Dip. We have a lot of Fun Dip. We have so much Fun Dip. We have over 500 packs of Fun Dip here and we have had some comments asking us to do stuff with Fun Dip and we figured if we're gonna experiment with it, we might as well go all out. So we got a lot and we're gonna see what it can do. Here's the basic idea. We are going to open and empty out over 500 packs of Fun Dip. We wanna see what the sugar can do, what the sticks are like, and overall what kinds of mess we can make. I don't actually care for the powder. It's, it's a little too sweet for me. It, it, you know, it coats your teeth, it coats your mouth. I love these little sugar sticks. They're so good. Problem solved. Fun Dip started selling in the 1940s. It was originally called Lick M Aid. Its name changed in the 70s, and that's when they also started including the little dipping stick. Before that, it was just pouches of colored flavored sugar. You want to open all of these? Yep. And then do stuff with them? Yep. Do you remember the lollipops? Yep. Do you remember the Silly Putty? Yep. Do you remember the Gushers? Yep. Why do you do this to me? It's fun. <laughs> So this color, it looks blue. This is a raspberry apple or raz apple. It looks blue at first, but again, when it gets wet, like if you lick it, it turns green. Ha! Nice. See, Nate's fell over. Mine's so stable, I can readjust it. 4.667 pounds. Okay, weigh a couple, like, individually. I want to know how many sticks that is. Let's get a rough estimate if that's actually 500. We're going with... 2,118 grams. Okay. And according to this not terribly accurate scale, one stick is fluctuating wildly between six and seven grams. So let's say it's just barely seven, eight, nine, 10. 10 is giving us 69 grams. So that's 6.9 grams each, which worked out because it was right in between. Goodbye, tower. <laughs> 2.901 pounds, which this estimates is 190. So by weight, we have like 306 and 190, which gives us 496. According to this scale, we're off by about four, but this scale, especially once you get up to the several pounds range, is not necessarily perfect accurate. And we also so. dropped a lot. We were chasing some of these, so. That's, that's still. See what these colors do as I pour this. We just get purple. 4.689 pounds. I hate to tell you, but it might not be a perfectly accurate reading. It certainly will not. All right, that's gonna go into negative because it had the weight of the bowl on it. All right, so this glass weighs 406 grams. In fact, we can just say that this is zero, so now we can just put that cup on. How much of it? Okay, let's stop eating for just a second to measure. And we get an additional 670 grams. Okay, we're done. Uh, 2,797 grams. That's a lot. I want to see if we can completely powderize some of the sticks. So we're going to try this. I blended some sticks. That's brand new. That looks like the happiest thing ever. Now um, you can dip the stick in more stick. That's pointless. There's no reason to do that. We're curious if every pack really comes with the exact same amount. So we've got some of our unopened packs. We're gonna pour them onto this gunpowder scale. It gets very accurate. And we're gonna see if we get the same powder content in say two or three of them. Now, each one of these packs says that it has 0.43 ounces. 12.5 versus 12.1. That's you get more. pretty close right there. All right, so our first one gave us 5.75. Let's do another red one, then we can get a blue one in here. Yep. Ha, 5.8. Uh-oh. 0.5 grams more. This one, was, uh, we're only getting 5.7 grams of sugar, so 
between 5.7 and 5.8, so as much as one tenth of a gram in variation, it's pretty accurate. No matter what, you're still getting more than what you paid for. So I'm kind of curious, guys. Sugar melts. Sugar melts very, very well. That's how you make a lot of candies. However, while these are sugar, I don't know what else is in them. I'm just gonna take one plain stick and just put it on the stove, see what happens. Well, I wanna see what one fun dip stick will do on the stove. Nate has put a spoonful of sugar. You've probably seen in the past that we have dropped powdered sugar and cinnamon and different types of dust into flames. Dust particulate is usually flammable just on its own. So I want to take a tiny little bit of this, drop it through a flame and see if it sparkles the way a lot of other things have on this channel. None, almost none. We're getting some gouts of flame, that's about it. A bit. I, I had to try, now I know. It doesn't flare, doesn't change the color of it, doesn't sparkle the way cinnamon does, but it burns a little. Oh. That's weird. And it's dripping. Well, that gives me some hope for what we put on the stove. So if it caramelizes, there's something we can do with sugar that caramelizes that I think we now need to try. We want to try putting this in our cotton candy machine. No, you're going to try that first. So the stick softened considerably while from being heated up. I want this as a candy. Normally with cotton candy, you either pick pink or blue. We're going to go with a mix of pink and blue, which also might turn green as it cooks. So this is a bit of a weird experiment here. Hmm, splattering out on the sides. Not making uh, any sort of threads that I can see. Sort of a turquoise color around the edge. You didn't have enough. Nice green spray. Feels like candy that has melted and re-solidified. Hey, 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 Nate. Mm -hmm. Nate. Stove's on fire. This is not what I would call on fire. Okay, well, it's smoking and it's gonna be on fire. Did you want me to wait until it was to get you? No, we're probably good to stop this now. Okay. So that's interesting. Don't, okay. On the stove, this seems to be melting really nicely into like a, a melted sugar candy texture. I'm just gonna turn that heat off, but it's not turning into these strings in the cotton candy machine. I'm gonna try again, Ooh. and then I'm gonna try with the powder from the stick and see what that does. This might be too fine of a powder. I don't know if that matters, but most things we've put in the cotton candy machine have been a lot thicker, sugar textured. <laughs> what? How do you feel about that? It's just like a cloud of dust. We know the traditional method of consuming Fun Dip, but we have a lot of this powder and uh, we want to try, we want to see if this will make sort of a substitute Kool-Aid mix. So we're just going to start adding powder to this water and uh, I'll use a little stick to stir it in. And we're going to see if we can make anything that's tolerable to drink. I'm going to test it like this. I think more. No. You should have more. I'm going to test it like this. Once it all dissolves in, if it even dissolves in, we may have hit a saturation point already. Cheers. Fun Dip drink. Oh boy. Very sour, actually. A lot more sour than sweet. Let's see if they can take though. more sugar. While Nate is doing that, I'm gonna separate out two different flavors. I don't want them mixed. I wanna try one that is cherry and one that is sour apple. All right, this has now about three of our cotton candy scoops and a whole pack Holy cow. mixed in, which, I mean, it seems like kind of a lot, but this isn't actually a very big scoop. So, cheers. It's kind of like bad Kool-Aid, like off-brand, something like that. Oh yeah, okay, and mine is, yep, way too weak. We're adding two more packets to each. To complete the flavor, I'm gonna try and add some powdered stick to this one and see if that'll dissolve in. Okay, okay, yeah, that's good, that's. Well, good. Try it. 
Sure. Okay, but this one does taste like Kool-Aid. Just cherry. Like a slightly more sour than normal, but. Yeah, but that one tastes like a drink. Like if you were to drink that, you wouldn't be like, what the heck? You'd be like, where'd you get this? Yeah. Like, All it's right. different, yeah. I don't like it with the stick in. It changes from being like a not that great drink to like, hmm, it tastes like you dissolved a bunch of candy in, in water. Guys, we're holding on to this powder. If there's something you want to see us try with the Fun Dip, let us know down in the comments. We did try a couple things. Some of them worked, some of them didn't, but there's got to be more. So let us know what you want to see. You look diseased. I mean that in the best possible way. Yikes. <laughs> That's it for today, but you know we've always got more for you to see. Click that box up at the top to check out our most recent video, and we will see you in the next one. Talk to you then.